Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of ASA Ask Sky Anything, the series where I answer your questions. Let's get straight into the video, starting with Lil Lego, and she says, awesome video. Well, first of all, thank you very much, I appreciate that. And then she says, ASA, what is your dream Lego theme that Lego either doesn't make or has made but is now retired? Alright, so I'm going to give probably the lamest answer ever because... Though that is a really amazing and wonderful question, I just, I don't have anything. I'm content with LEGO Star Wars. I really love LEGO Star Wars. I have always have and I always will. I'm sorry, but I don't really have an answer for that. I'm like, there's not really any movies or TV shows that I could think of where I'd be like, that would be cool to see in LEGO. Um, so I just, I don't really have have one. So I'm sorry. Um, but because that's such a great question, I'm going to turn that question around and ask you guys that um what is your dream lego theme that lego hasn't made um you know because that's a great question i just can't think of anything so once again i'm sorry but anyways let's move on to our next question from treeman 66 and he says would you want to see the mega battle pack again but instead of a 501st you get the the 212th and the 332nd versions Oh, yeah. Absolutely. I would always, 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 always love to see clones in Lego sets, especially in high quantities, like four or six in like a $30 set. That would just be amazing. Like skip the battle droids this time and just give us six clones. That would be so cool. Um, but I, I said it last time and I'm going to say it again. If we're going to get another one of those quote unquote super battle packs or mega battle packs, whatever you want to call it. I hope it's something like Imperial with like Imperial Stormtroopers just because I like Stormtroopers. I like clones, but I like Stormtroopers more, I think. Um, as long as they don't use those dumb, stupid, disgusting, ugly helmets that they've been using. Why are you the way that you are? I don't know. So, anyways, next question comes from Brick Beans. Brick Beans? I, I read his name backwards. It's Bean Bricks. What's your least favorite set that you own? Honestly, I think I'm going to go with the Captain Phasma Brickheads. It's just so disgusting and ugly. Like, I don't know. It's so bad that even though I've owned that set for probably like three years now, I've just been like... Nope, I don't want to review it. I don't ever want to talk about it. So that's my least favorite set that I own. It's just, it's disgusting. Um, I know that Brickheads aren't very, like, well-known or rather, um, like, appreciated. But that one's just disgusting. And it's like, what were you thinking, Lego? So um, that, I'm going to pick that, the Brickhead Captain Phasma. Oh my goodness! And then our next question comes from Burner Builds and he says... ASA, what's your favorite non-licensed themed theme? I think I'm going to go with Mars Mission. I know that that set is, or theme is kind of childish and dumb, um, and not a lot of people in the community like it. But that was part of my childhood growing up. I had a lot of the Mars Mission sets as a kid, and I just thought they were really cool as a kid. Um, and so that's probably my favorite theme. And maybe someday I'll go back and rebuy all the sets if my channel ever, like, gets really popular. Um, and then review those sets just because they, they just have a lot of nostalgia for me. That's pretty much the only reason why I'm picking that. Um, but it's just, it's a really cool theme. It's, at least I think so. I loved it as a kid. Um, and so, yeah. Our next question comes from EK Starlord and he says, Have you ever watched Family Guide, American Dad, and the Cleveland show. No, no, and no. I honestly have not. I've never been interested in any of them. Anyways, our next question comes from Esme King. And he says, ASA, do you think that LEGO will ever make more separatist ships like the Invisible Hand or a remake of the Maleficent? I think I said that right. Um, honestly, there's no way of knowing. There's no way of being like, yes or no. Um, it would be a lie if I told you, yes, Lego's going to make one someday. And it would also be a lie if I told you, no, Lego's never going to make one someday. There's never any real way of knowing. They don't not make remakes of sets. Eventually, they re-release sets. Like, we just got, for an example, we just got an AAT last year. Um, you know, so we still get Clone Wars sets, not as much as we would like to. I understand that. But I do think someday we'll get a new Maleficent or Invisible Hand um, 
but it might be like another decade, like another 10 years. So we'll see what happens. Never think, oh, Lego's never going to make this again, because who knows? They might, they, they seem to love making ties and X-Wings a lot more because those are obviously more recognizable ships. Like people that aren't fans of Star Wars will even be able to point out an X-Wing and tell you that's from Star Wars if they're not into Star Wars. And that's Lego's goal, is to get people that aren't even into Star Wars to want to buy it. But I think it's possible it'll happen someday. It might not be for like another 10 years though, so we'll find out. But um, that would be really cool to see. So yeah, hopefully that answers your question. Our next question comes from Jala, and he says, Will you ever do a room tour? Um, probably not, and the reason why isn't because I'm a pig or disgusting, like, I make my bed, I take showers, I clean, like, I, I keep things dusted, all that stuff, um, but my room just looks like a mess, and it's not because, like I said, like, I'm a pig, but because my walls are just, like, disgusting from over the years, um, like, they got, like, tape on them from when I was a dumb kid and put posters up, and I used tape, and <laughs> so there's, like, ripped paint, there's, like, holes in my wall, there's just, like, dirt, and it's just, like, it's disgusting, so I'm, like, truth be told, I'm, like, embarrassed of my room, and that's why I don't want to do a room tour, so maybe someday I will, and I'll just get over it, um, but for now, don't plan on seeing one, like, anytime soon. And our very last question of the day comes from BZ Bricks, and he says, awesome, so thank you. And he says, ASA, what is your favorite thing about LEGO except the creativity and capability, cre creative capabilities? So honestly, this is going to kind of sound lame and cheesy, but I just love how LEGO can bring everyone together no matter what you believe in real life. Like, it's just, it's fun. Everyone can love LEGO. Everyone can build Lego. Lego can just bring people together in, in harmony and just be fun for everyone. And it, especially if you love like Star Wars, because then people can look up YouTube videos, mine or other people's, and just enjoy watching other people talk about what you love and and doing fun things with Lego, like building stop motions and mocks and it's just, it's really cool, and so that's one of the reasons why I love Lego. Lego is just so cool. I'll tell you one thing I don't like is the price. It's very expensive. So, anyways, that's going to do it for today's episode of ASA. So, thank you all very much for watching. Make sure you leave a like on this video if you enjoyed. And, of course, comment a question or two for the next episode, and I'll pin my favorite to the top. So, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.